Well guys, it's 12 at night, but I figured I'd do a little video explaining all the maintenance that I've done so far since we've hit 250,000 kilometers. So uh, before we get started, if I can show you guys without the headlight blinding covering up, I got a little low profile hood deflector on it. Now the hardware on this side, it's okay, but there's nothing in there, but overall i'll show you guys right now what it looks like during the day it goes nice with the window visors uh and it's gonna be nice with the tonal cover soon as well so what's going on with this video so with this truck i've done about three oil changes and soon i'm gonna have to do four because I like to do my oil changes every five to 6,000 kilometers just to keep the engine running as long as I can, which, hey, it seems to be doing a good job so far. So for oil, I run 0W20, full synthetic oil, which is recommended for this truck. Uh, I like to go with just Honda OEM oil, and sometimes I'll also do Mobile One or Castrol. Either way, always like doing it on time, always like keeping it nice and fresh, and yeah. Now in terms of the filter, I'm actually going to shut this off now because I don't really need to run it anymore. But in terms of the filter, also look at this blue. It's, it's kind of wet out, but it's really nice how it's just sparkling. But anyways, in terms of the filter, you guys probably saw it in the last video. It's just a simple... Little mobile one filter right there, M1 110. Uh, usually I like to use either those or just OEM Honda filters. I also like to use the Valvoline ones, they're pretty simple too. Uh, VA106, just like every other Honda almost. Now secondly, I did a brake fluid replacement. I actually got this done by uh, Midland Honda thanks to them um, because obviously brakes are the second most well yeah second most important part of your vehicle so I got that done so that way there's gonna be no future issues and yeah stops like a dream obviously I like to use uh, some brake cleaner for the brakes as well keeps them nice and fresh for as long as possible. Also for those who are wondering, DOT3 brake fluid is uh, recommended for this full synthetic. And soon I'm going to be doing a drain and fill for the coolant because even though it's still pretty much good, I want it to be good much longer for as long as it can be. So, Show you guys the engine bay again, just because why not? It's getting a little dirty, so we're going to clean it up soon. But obviously, there's no leaks or anything, which is really nice. I'm really happy that there isn't. Uh, it's held up pretty well. It's the J35Y6. It's their Earth Dreams Direct Injection IV Tech, which is nice because I know the newer Honda pilots, they have just the VTC, if I remember. So... So yeah, obviously it's only a single overhead cam V6 and the newer ones are dual overhead cam, which is actually pretty interesting, but yeah, can't be old reliable. Now that's obviously not to say the newer V6s are probably not going to be any less reliable, but you know. So yeah, I figured that wraps up this quick little video that I just wanted to do just to do something because I haven't done anything really in three weeks. So yeah, truck still held up well. I'll show you guys right now. It starts up like a dream. We're sitting at 250,205 now. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take it easy.